because the Youth Empowerment Project organized a project for the production of personal protective gears from the Ministry of Health as their contribution in the fight against the coronavirus. Over 100 tailors trained from different territories at institution took part in the production of face masks through which they could generate some income with support from the European Union. The items were received by the Minister of Health for onboard distribution to frontline health workers. Here is more details of that in this report. A group of young Gambians are proving their potential by providing personal protective equipment to the Ministry of Health in the fight against the global pandemic. The Minister of Health, Dr. Ahmed Lamin Samate, in receiving the package says that support to frontline health workers is a giant step in the fight against the coronavirus. He noted that 70% of the confirmed cases of the COVID-19 were recorded in quarantine centers. 70% of the positive cases we registered in the Gambia were from those who were already on the quarantine, especially those along the borders, to ensure that the border closure is maintained so that we do not register more imported cases in this country. I'm sure you realize that most of the cases we are getting now are coming across the land borders. And if we all endeavor to make sure that the land borders are no longer porous, that means Gambia is not likely to get more and more COVID-19 cases, and that is good for all of us. He further stated that their efforts in dealing with the global pandemic has been yielding dividend which they are proud of, saying Gambia registered the lowest cases in the world. The project funded by the European Union featured the delivery of face masks, protective suits and face seals, all made in the Gambia on Wednesday. Similar to the production of protective suits and shoe coverings by 20 returnees through the IMO reintegration assistant. These face masks were produced by 107 tailors in the rural Gambia. The producers attend skills training from the President International Award Scheme, Inside Training Center and Fajara Training Center. Equipment to the Ministry of Health. The equipment includes 500 protective suits and shoe covers. 1,000 face masks and 100 face shields. But this is just the first lot. It is, a, it is part of a larger contribution of 45,000 masks, 2,000 suits that are being produced under the EU-funded project, including the Youth Empowerment Project, YEP, implanted by International uh, Trade Center, ITC, and also the EU IOM Joint Initiative for Migrant Protection and Reintegration implemented by the International Organization for Migration. While the donation is to the government, of course, represented by the Honorable Minister, the protective suits and uh, shoe covers are uh, primarily intended for frontline immigration and border officials. And I appreciate the presence of um, representative uh, from the Ministry of Interior. The face masks are for frontline workers and other exposed professionals, while the face shields in those boxes behind are primarily for medical staff. Besides being funded by the European Union, the different types of equipment have one more thing in common. They are all made and produced in the Gambia. Minister of Trade and Employment, by Lamin Job, expressed delight for the application of skills through the Youth Empowerment Project. He also commended the EU for coordinating efforts through the various projects to support to the fight against the COVID-19. My ministry appreciates the partnership and will closely collaborate with ITC and IOM in implementing the various income-generating activities for the youth and the returnees. Through the Youth Empowerment Project and She Trade in the Gambia Project, my ministry has been working closely with ITC to support the development of youth and women-owned enterprises, as well as development of skills to enhance the employability of youth and women. These items are expected to enhance the availability of basic supplies of protective gears for frontline health workers, which will in turn generate some income for the small businesses involved in the production. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Aminata Job.